This year was supposed to celebrate Queen Elizabeth II's historic reign as the first British monarch to celebrate a platinum jubilee, marking 70 years of service to the people of the United Kingdom, the realms, and the Commonwealth, according to Royal UK. However, celebrations are subdued as the health of Queen Elizabeth has become a major concern recently for the people of Britain and royal enthusiasts alike. After news broke that her son Prince Charles and his wife Camilla Parker Bowles tested positive for COVID-19 and had recently seen the Queen, there was a chance she could get the virus as well. Since COVID-19 is especially deadly for those in Queen Elizabeth's age range, fans feared the worst. Now, according to the Daily Beast, the 95-year-old might be dealing with a different health issue altogether. One Windsor Castle visitor asked how the Queen was, and Queen Elizabeth pointed to her feet and legs and responded, "'Well, as you can see, I can't move.'" With the Queen's age and possible health trouble, royal experts are beginning to think about what comes next if she does pass away. Now they're wondering if one of Princess Diana's predictions about who will take over the throne could come true. While many royal fans can't imagine Queen Elizabeth's passing, as she grows older, it's a necessary conversation. When the time does come, of course, her son Prince Charles is first in line for the throne. However, with ongoing issues around Charles's charity, a prediction once made by the late Princess Diana is beginning to seem more likely. Before her tragic passing, Diana did an interview where she suggested that she would like to see Charles give the throne to their son, Prince William. Martin Bashir asked her, "'Would it be your wish that when Prince William comes of age that he were to succeed the Queen rather than the current Prince of Wales?' "'My wish is that my husband finds peace of mind, and from that follows other things, yes.'" Royal expert Richard Eden recently tweeted. In her interview with Martin Bashir on Panorama two years before she was killed, Princess Diana suggested that Prince William would eventually become king instead of Prince Charles. I wonder if her prediction will end up being correct. You know, I certainly don't lie awake um, waiting or hoping for it because it sadly means that my, my family have moved on and I don't want that. Eden also responded to criticism by saying, "'I'm suggesting that Prince Charles could abdicate in favor of William. As a royalist, I think this would be in the best long-term interests of the monarchy.'" Isn't it good, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Had we thought of that? With controversies surrounding Prince Charles' cash for honors allegations, that may actually be a realistic prediction. Prince Charles has been steeped in controversy for a while now after the Prince's Foundation was reported to have accepted donations unethically. In September 2021, it was discovered that Michael Fawcett, a top aide to Prince Charles and head of the charitable organization, had solicited donations for the Prince's Foundation from a Saudi businessman in exchange for help obtaining an honorary title. Fawcett stepped down soon after, per CNN. Now, Prince Charles may be interrogated by the Metropolitan Police as they've launched an investigation into these claims. In a statement to CNN, a Clarence House spokesperson said, "...the Prince of Wales has no knowledge of the alleged offer of honors or British citizenship on the basis of donation to his charities and fully supports the investigation now underway by the Prince's Foundation." Royal commentator Peter Hunt tweeted, "...this has the potential to be very challenging for Prince Charles. For decades, Michael Fawcett was one of his most powerful confidants. If their investigation is to be credible, the Met Police will have to interview the future king in the same way they would any other citizen." Princess Diana had also said in that same interview that knowing the job of being king would challenge Prince Charles. "...because I know the character, I would think that the top job, as I call it, would bring enormous limitations to him." The recent controversies around Prince Charles as well as Prince Andrew have many royal enthusiasts agreeing with her foresight. Even the Daily Mail published an editorial saying between Prince Charles and Prince Andrew's recent scandals, the Queen really deserves better. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.